Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and uh, if you guys remember yesterday's video we had a little bit of a situation with Santa Claus. I don't want to say he went violent but um yeah, he kind of went violent. He uh, he took a katana, if you remember, and uh, kind of stuck it through 150 people's mouths. Apparently, he thought they were naughty. You see here, children? This is why Santa has changed his gifts so much cheaper to give. Yeah, that's what he said. They were naughty. And then after he killed 150 people with his katana, he pulled out a machine gun and mowed down the entire crowd at the Paris Fashion Show. Needless to say, Santa's got a couple of mental health issues. And um, yeah, unfortunately, I think we need to clean up the aftermath. Now listen, I know you're shocked. Santa Claus is safely in a cell right now being looked at by doctors. My name is Jack Mehoff, lead director for the specially endowed elves of this world, and I'm here to do a cleanup detail in Santa's workshop. Now, before he decides to go to the Paris Fashion Show and wreak havoc with a katana and explosions, from what I hear, he had a quacking duck. Before he did all that, he also went a little bit crazy in his workshop. Right now, we are in Santa's workshop, and uh, needless to say, there's a lot of blood and gore. As you can see, we have some. Uh, oh, don't look if you have a weak stomach. Uh, we have some uh, disemboweled elves over here. We gotta get this whole place spick and span before Christmas Day. Holy shit. Okay, well, from what I've heard, Santa Claus really went off the deep end. He was listening to some of that demon music that You know that heavy metal crazy shit? He was listening to that, he did some drugs, line of coke, and the next thing you know he was coming out here going, I'm the magical elf, and then, you know, it kind of ended with all the elves, um, being bled to death. Poor little guy, he was trying to calm Santa down. He's like, oh no, Santa, calm down! I die, you elf bitch! So much destruction. He even killed the reindeer after he raped Rudolph. He killed all the reindeer in the stable, slaughtered the stable keepers. It's a mess, let me tell you what, and today we've gotta clean this mess up. I, I have this special mop here, but I, I think I'm gonna need a barf bucket. I think the first place to start is to grab a what a low disposable bin. I'll take one of those, thank you so much. And then we need to take this bad boy and dump all the little poor elf bodies in here. I know what you're thinking, how morbid? You mean you take this poor little guy named Billy Boy and you just dump his body in a disposal bin and then, and then throw his body out? Yeah, you know, the North Pole and Earth work a little bit different. On Earth, when someone dies, you bury them, have an expensive funeral, mourn their death. Here, elves are next to useless. I mean, just look at them. If you had one of those, would you appreciate it? Not really. It's like a bug. You step on it, you don't cry. Oh, what? You thought you had the same privilege as a human being? Oh, my name is Jerry, and I'm an elf, and I work, and I can make toy trains, and that makes me special, and somehow have human rights? Nah, bitch. I don't think so. You're gonna burn, little elf, bitch. All of you are gonna burn. Uh, look at it. A lifeless elf body. Look at that. His whole lower body is the size of my toe. That's how small these guys are. <laughs> oh, you really thought you could go up against Santa, didn't you? Oh, they wanted to have the elf revolution. Little do they know they're so damn small and useless that Santa Claus could uh, Santa Claus could kick your ass and not even try. They really know how to bleed for little guys. They sure can bleed. Who are you? Oh, look at that. Shot right in the chest by Santa Claus. I don't know if you're gonna go in the bin. You're not really small enough to fit in the bin, which is saying a lot when it comes to an elf. Hey, there's gotta be a way to cut this guy out. Make it easier on myself, you know? Come on! I know I could do this, little guy's tender as could be, so juicy. You cut him up into small pieces! I can fit him in a freezer! I, I, I mean, the biohazard box. <laughs> what type of barbaric monster would eat elf meat? Blech, disgusting. It's not like a little seasoning would make them taste good. Not at all, no, no, no. <laughs> Holy shit, tits! I have a lot of questions about what went down here. <laughs> Look at this poor little guy here. His body exploded. Are you are you a fleshy elf or a cracker? Oh, I can see it all now. Santa Claus is over here brutally tearing apart an elf. 
and this little guy thinks he can stand up to Santa Claus. Santa Claus is over there, rah, rips an elf right in half, tears the head off another one, and he's eating its face off. And this little guy, we're gonna call him George, comes up. Hey, Mr. Santa Claus, you don't leave them alone. Santa Claus turns around, who dares say that to me? And then he sees this little guy, oh shit, I made a mistake. Ah, and then throws him against the wall, splash. <laughs> Body parts goes everywhere. Enjoy, little elf bitch. You made Christmas real tough this year. If you guys didn't have an opinion, and you didn't want money, and you didn't ask for a Friday every six months off, maybe this wouldn't have been a problem. You guys really shouldn't have complained, because now, well, needless to say, <laughs> you're pretty much dead. What do you have to say, little fella? Oh, God, look at his, look at his body. <laughs> oh, my boy, he really made a mess of you. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry about this, buddy. Santa Claus really is a good guy. If you can look past all the murder and bloodshed and the fact he enslaved all the elves out there, he's really a nice guy if you think about it like that. Maybe you're giving up your life and your butthole virginity a little bit every now and again. And every now and again Santa does go crazy, but at the end of the day, if human children are happy, does it really matter? Hey right, boys, choo choo! On the way to the fiery furnace. All right, I would like one disposal bin, please. Thank you so much. Okay. That is not a disposal bin. That is bloody guts. When you uh, go for a disposal bin and guts come out, I'm pretty sure somewhere else in this building, Santa Claus is making short work of uh, the rest of the elves that may have survived. Uh, please, Beastie, put me inside the giant disposal bin. Oh, don't worry, I will, Mr. Elf. Oh, Beastie, will you please glue my head back on? I'm sorry, that's not possible. Beastie, will you please tell my wife I love her? Yeah, elves are all gay, we know that. There's no such thing as a female elf. Ah, nah, all elves do it with each other, that's right. Penis to penis. Oh, God, look at all the guts. It is so disgusting. Look at this. No straight guy in their right mind would wear tight green clothing. You guys is gay, bro. Little elf leg, there we go. You go in there. You know, if you think about it, women ain't got nothing on an elf. Elves invented the original yoga pants, yeah. Well, I mean, it wasn't exactly yoga pants. I mean, they don't have the nice ass to go in it, you know what I'm saying? But hey, they invented it first. So all you ladies out there with them booty pics of yours, just remember, an elf did it first and probably better. All right, boys, in here is where it all originated. Santa went crazy in this room. This is his office, okay? He may have uh, had a little too much to drink, but um, in here is where it kind of originated. <laughs> poor little elf, I'm gonna call this elf number one. Look at him. The poor guy got absolutely destroyed. He used him as target practice. Chop, chop. Chop! See, when you've been in the business as long as I have, and you see brutal shit like this, you kind of have to piece together the situation based on the evidence surrounding you. So, I can see Santa sitting here, you know, maybe he's got on underwear, maybe he's butt naked, I don't know, Santa was comfortable here. And, uh, you know, he was reading over the list of naughty and nice kids, drinking some whiskey as you do with your shotgun shells and your shotgun. We all know Santa's got that and TNT. Holy shit! Bro, why did Santa Claus have TNT again? I think we need to be kind of careful with the presents. I think Santa Claus was a little bit crazy. I think he may have wanted to blow up all the children of the world. Oh, that does it. I'm burning all the presents. I'm burning all the presents. Who knows what could be in them? Explosives, anthrax, severed elf heads. That was it. We've uncovered the mystery. Santa was putting TNT inside these presents. He was going to kill the children of the world for being naughty. And, and the elves saw him do that. They were like, oh, Santa, why are you putting explosives in a present? And he had to kill them. That was it. They tried to stop him, but the little guys are so small and innocent, they couldn't stop him. Santa went through them like butter with his sharp katana. Oh, that's what happened. You poor bastards. Okay, bro, I want you to look at that box. What, what kid needs a box that big for Christmas? What's in it? A refrigerator, a small car, a DIY house kit. No, 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 there's a bomb in there, isn't there? Or maybe, um, maybe a dead elf. <laughs> you poor little bugger, you, look at him. Oh, rest in peace, Charlie the elf. You really tried to stop Santa. 
they, they have a good heart. I mean, it may be as small as an acorn, but they have a good heart. They saw Santa was over here with mad explosives and shotgun shells and biological weapons, and they tried to stop him, but they were no match for a giant steroid and muscly Santa Claus. Oh, well, that's right. Santa's not fat and jolly. He's actually a Russian monster bodybuilder. Holy shit, that is so brutal. Santa Claus is no ordinary killer, he is a monster. There is so much blood, oh, my dude. I am so sorry. Screw it, I'm not throwing these guys away. Elf meat is the most delicate meat. He thought crab was delicate or or maybe a, a special type of fish. Oh, no, 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 you haven't tried elf meat. At one point they were alive, you know, you don't really want to eat the face. The face is the part you throw out, cause who wants to see something that ugly? That's the one part you don't want to eat, but the rest of the elf body is pretty damn delicious. Especially the torso. Add a little salt and pepper on there. <laughs> Look at this little guy! Just, you know, a casual lower torso of an elf on the floor. Not, not a big deal, normal shit for a guy like me. I've been working this job for a while and when Santa Claus goes on one of his crazy, uh, crazy rampages, I mean, I expect to pick up a lot of elf feet. But hey, at least we're gonna be eating good. Oh my god. Look at this guy! What does Santa do to you? Santa picked them up like a loose rag and just beat them over the floor, over and over, until nothing was left but a blood splat. Okay, okay, get in the bin, you elf pussy. I think the bin's full. All right, we need to take it in here to the fireplace. You guys are gonna be burning. Nothing smells worse than burning, uh, burning elf flesh. They taste delicate, don't get me wrong, but it smells pretty bad when you have to burn elf bodies. All right, boys, into the fire. It's about all you're good for. You try to get these dumbasses to make a toy choo-choo train or, God forbid, an electronic device like a Nintendo Switch? Forget about it, they're too stupid. So they serve well as kindling for my fire. Oh no, oh shit! Santa grabbed the poor little elf, stabbed him through the heart, ripped his arms off and his head off. Oh, you poor little bastard. You, oh, okay, all right, he just fell apart. All right, little guys, I'm sorry about this. Santa really did you dirty, oh God. That is so morbid. Santa even took the watering buckets and severed an elf up and stuck him in that. I know what Santa wanted to do. He wanted to make my job just a little bit easier. Okay, all right, all right. I hate all you elf bitches. I'm glad you died. I said it, I'm glad you died. This is so much strain and stress. I don't get paid enough for this. You know, I realize everyone's just seeing the tragedy in this, but you need to look on the bright side. I see this as a great opportunity. Imagine all the fish bait you can have with this. Yeah, you grab an elf, you put him in your freezer, you cut him up, you got bait to go fishing for months. Oh, hell yeah. You're telling me a fish is gonna deny a tasty little morsel of elf meat? I don't think so. You can catch yourself a lot of fish with one elf. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Yes, in the end, it is a terrible, terrible thing that happened to all the elves, but you know, you gotta think about it like this. You live and you learn. A few dead elves isn't really gonna affect the world in the long term, and uh, maybe in the future we'll find out why Santa really got mad, but let's be honest, we kinda know why. If you had to work with a bunch of small people that uh, had weird green costumes, would you be very happy? Probably not. Especially with high-pitched squeaky voices like this. No, you're not gonna be very happy. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment down below for what I should play next. RIP to all the elves out there that died. And peace out.